Hey, what's going on guys? James here with Sporval, and today we are diving into home cultivation. Uh, specifically, we will be going over the all-in-one bags. Now these are a great option because they are extremely convenient and very beginner friendly. Um, all you really need is a sterile environment and some patience to get started. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on in. Uh, first, you are going to want to throw on some gloves and begin to open everything up. With everything now being open, um, I'm going to go ahead and sterilize everything. really fast let's go ahead and go over everything that we have so um, 10 filters to go over the 10 holes for the mono tub uh, you definitely want to keep these on the entire grow as that helps with maintaining the humidity and the heat inside of it uh, humidity and temperature gauge spore syringe um, this we are going with tidal wave this has been used, as you can see, I have five cc's. Uh, normally they are 10, um, but we did not use the syringe, so I am not going to heat treat it. Now, normally you wanna heat treat them if you are reusing them, but if you are using it for the first time, you just wanna wipe everything down with al alcohol, and that is completely fine. You always could heat treat it. It is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, and then two all-in-one bags. Do note that every all-in-one bag does come with a self-healing injection port. Um, you do not need to use one. I am going to go ahead and inoculate two bags, um, one with it already applied and one without. Uh, if you are going without it, you are going to want to tape it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so that's nice and tight and well shaken up. So, I'm going to want to remove the cap and then aim a little bit towards the grain. I'm going to want to center it directly in the um, self healing port. Push it about, say three quarters, almost all the way in. And then I'm gonna want to inject about two cc's. So five down to three. Pull it back out. Perfect. I'm going to put that in there. going to heat sterilize this in between them. And 
Perfect. Cool down. Perfect. And then once again, we're gonna go right into the middle. And then I like to poke it about three quarters of the way in. Give it about two cc's. Go ahead and pull it out. Normally, I would be wearing a mask right now. Um, without doing it through a self uh, healing port. But for the quality of the video, I am not too worried about it. So it's really that simple. Um, in about three weeks, two weeks, it's going to be uh, about 30% colonized. You're gonna wanna break it up help kind of distribute it completely. And then within about another three weeks, um, it'll be a complete block of white. At that point, you're going to want to cut it open, uh, let some air in, and then you will start to see mushrooms pinning. And then at that point, you'll want to cut it open some more, completely reveal it, um, make sure that the moisture is doing fine and then you can harvest it and then usually you can harvest it again. on um, I'm just gonna double check the bags you don't want them airtight um, you don't want the filter to be pushed up against the back as that won't let any air exchange in the bag that's required so just double check those real quick um, these look fine uh, do keep in mind that generally when using a mono tub uh, my preference and most people's preference is to line the bottom of it with a trash bag, uh, like a, a black trash bag. You'll line it. Uh, you'll, you'll cut about six inches from the bottom, creating the bottom lining for your substrate. You'll mix in two five pound bags, so about 10 pounds of cocoa choir. Uh, and then you'll take a three pound bag of colonized grain. Uh, you want to break up the colonized grain, mix it together. Uh, make sure it's mixed very thoroughly, make sure the filters are on, and then that'll just give you a much bigger surface area. If you keep the conditions ideal, you can generally get two to three yields. Um, yeah, we'll be sure to have content on that coming out shortly. Uh, this was just a highly requested tutorial. Um, be sure to check out our website for premium spore samples, um, cultivation equipment, merchandise. Uh, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay on top of new videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.